Camera, I to know the purpose of your visit. Well, as you know, uh, at this time in Nigeria, I'm going around consulting with all the women in Nigeria about the future of the country. Consulting, discussing with them how can we collectively take back Nigeria and make sure Nigeria becomes a country that we should all be proud of and be good at the young ones and the children of better Nigeria. of being proud of saying that we've achieved a lot, we can't celebrate that. But we'll celebrate because we're still a nation together and everything. But this next election will be how we start building Nigeria everybody will be proud of. And you've listened to me. I said next year's election will not be based on ethnicity because no ethnic group buys food cheaper. There's no place where the poor people are happy. There's no place where there's job for everybody. There's no place where there's an interrupted electricity or there's no any ethnicity that we say they are safe, even in Nigeria today. It will not be based on religion. The Christians don't buy bread cheaper not that the Muslims buy it. It is them cost for everybody. Everybody is suffering the same thing. And it will not be based on my tongue. It is turn of Nigerians to take back their country. It will not be by connection. And that is why I'm going across party lines to say, let's save our country. Next year's election will be based on character we can trust. Competence capacity, commitment to start doing the right things. I have made a commitment that says, hold me responsible. That I want to move, secure Nigeria, unite Nigeria, build cohesion. I'm a Nigerian. I don't want anybody to vote for me because I'm an Igbo man. No. Do not do that. Don't vote for me because I'm a Christian. Or because it's my turn. It's turn of Nigerians. Or because I have connections. But I want them to vote for me because I believe that I have the competence and the capacity to turn around the country. And my commitment, especially to the young ones, is that I'll start pulling them out of poverty. I want to move the country from consumption to production so it can start being a country people will be proud of. Excellency, in terms of politics, there are two issues, monetization and talking about structure. I have so the that structure is the structure that kept us here. It is structure of criminality. That is the structure that have not allowed us to generate power. 
that we need. The structure that brought this massive corruption, the structure that is, that is what we want to remove. It's actually once we remove that structure, we'll start moving. It is a structure that is blocking the progress of Nigeria. That's what we want to remove. That's why I'm talking to everybody. Who means well, like Obama Kinde, who are doing good work, going across party lines, surrounding the club about structure. Monetization. Whose money are they sharing? The money they are sharing is why there's joblessness in the society. The money they are sharing is why children are not, universities are not open today. That is the one that would have used to do what is right, to build the human capital, to invest in education, invest in health, invest. That's what they're sharing. So you want peanuts when people are dying. It is that money that's making people die in the hospital. It's that money that they make it, there's no infrastructure. So it is time. Where, is, where did they get the money? Where is their office? Where is their shop? Where is their factory that they employ people? Which money are they sharing? It's your money. It is time I've told people, take the money, vote against them, because we want them out of the place. People don't share money in the other world because they want job. Our children want job. I have youths here, very talented, energetic. They don't know where the next meal will come from, and you're giving them money. Whenever I hear people talk about money, I get mad and annoyed. That is not what we want to do. Thank you, Thank you. Your Good message to your obedient movement in you know, your state. I said we have them, quite a number of them in you know, your state. I said to them, one is that uh, campaign started yesterday. I said, for every Nigerian, not just for them, remain prayerful for our country. Remember it in prayer that we have peaceful, peaceful, free and fair election, fair competition, and everything. For the obedient groups, remain peaceful. We want a campaign-based, issue-based election. We want an issue-based election where people will come, candidates, not through spokesperson, not through via anybody, but let the candidates come and show their commitment. As I'm talking to you now, you put it on tape, and I've said to Nigerians, trust me, I will start from day one to start showing visible, measurable progress. And I'll be held responsible. We don't want somebody to come and tell us about complaint. The job of leader is not to complain or to blame anybody. I don't want to blame anybody for what happened yesterday. We are at the point of hiring a new CEO for the enterprise called Nigeria. And I'm offering myself. And I said, I don't want to blame anybody. I don't want to give excuses. My duty is to solve problems that's the duty of leader. My duty is to show visible, measurable progress. That's what Nigeria wants now. Not somebody who come and say, oh, what we saw when we entered, or what that man did yesterday. If the man was doing well, we won't hire you. We're hiring you because it's bad. That's what, what we want now. So among the 18 of us, who do you trust? It's not a question of trust. Our manifestos and all we are saying will do the same thing. Some will even speak better with English than me. But who do we trust that if we will allow him to be there, he will do this? That's why I said it will be based on character, competence, commitment, and everything. And I assure you, I'm prepared for this job. The job requires physical and mental energy. I've just come from Abuja this morning. I'm running back to Abuja, and I'm committed to it. And I want Nigerians to hold me responsible.